Hey guys, welcome to the next video in my little Minecraft series here. This is going to be my third video and it's going to be how you add plugins to your bucket server. And it's very simple actually. I've already made videos about how you install bucket mod and how you set up Amachi so your friends can join your server. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can add a plugin or plugins. Uh, it's very simple. When you know how you add one plugin, then you know how to add any single plugin. So the first thing you want to do, or the first thing I could show you, is when you go into your Minecraft server here, uh, this little folder you have with all of your server things, when you have loaded up your server for the first time, you'll get a new little folder here that's going to be created. It's called Plugins. When you open it up, you won't see any files. This is basically where you are going to add all of your plugins that you want people to have on your server. So every time you go and download a plugin, new plugin for Bucket, then you go ahead and add it in this little plugin folder. And the plugins looks like it have this extension called .jar. Uh, because it's Java files or Java files, uh, just like this file, Craft Bucket. If you don't know how to turn on file extensions, I've already made a video about that, and I have this little playlist in the description. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can install the bucket plugin called Essentials. And Essentials, it's basically a very basic plugin, but it's still it's very powerful. It's pretty good to have on your server because it. Uh, brings a lot of features like you can have your own help menu. You could have you can change the time to day to night, whatever. Uh, you can ban people, you could set home, you can spawn things, and all those good things. So, uh, one thing also that you should know is that uh, in some bucket builds, um, then some plugins doesn't work. So, I, I know for a fact that in the bucket build 428. Uh, then I have a little essentials that is working in that version. So if you want to download the bucket build 4 and 28, if you don't have the bucket build 4 and 28, and if you want to use my essentials uh, that I have in this um, download link in description, uh, then you could go ahead and download this build 4 and 28 in the description. If you go to ci.bucket.org, let's just go to the page, and then you just click on dev craft bucket. And as you can see, they are working on new builds uh, all the time on Craft Bucket, but I'm right now b using the build 4 and 28, and that's the build that I'm using in this video. So go ahead and download that one. Uh, you just click on it, and then you just download it. So when you have this uh, build 4 and 28, then let's now no, it's time to download the essentials. Essentials. Now upload it to uploadmirrors.com so you can download it from a couple of mirrors here like Hotfire, Far Factory. So when you have downloaded it, then you will get this new kind of or you will get this plugins.zip file. So I've used let's just add it to our desktop and then you want to open it up. And if you can't open it, then you just go ahead and download the free program called 7-Zip and then you will have this new 7-Zip here in the menu and then you just click on extract to your desktop you can also use WinRAR obviously okay so when we open up our plugins folder right now we see that we have a bunch of plugins here we don't have just one plugin and I know it, it could be kind of confusing like why do we have multiple files well because all of these plugins make different kinds of things first we have the basic essentials of jar it have all of these like very basic stuff and then we have essential stuff essentials ban if you want to be able to ban people with this essentials plugin if you want people to be able to chat if you want a help menu in essentials if you want to set home spawn you have all of these things like warp to different places so I'm just going to take all of these right now uh, open up my Minecraft server uh, open up my plugins folder and then I'm just going to drag and drop it's that simple now you have your plugins so I'm just going to close this one here and then you're going to delete this little plugin folder Okay, so now what? Now you basically start off your server, and when you start off your server, it will go into your plugins folder and find all of these new things, and it will be like, what the hell? Or it may be like, hmm, this is not coded correctly or something like that, because they're always trying to improve bucket. So sometimes it seems like you get loads of error message, but that's just because uh, the bucket guys that is working on this, uh, they like clean code. So let's just start off our server, and don't freak out now. 
because we're going to see a lot of error messages. Okay, so it, it looks like this is broke or something like that. Uh, but you can see here, nothing is broken. We just like to keep code clean. So uh, then they're saying, go nag the plugin author of essentials to remove it. Blah 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 blah. So yeah, it it's it, it's nothing to worry about, you know. So now you can basically start playing when you see this little down message for help. Blah blah blah. Okay, so let's load up Minecraft. No, I don't want this. And log into my little server here. Hit login. And this is one thing I love that they are not, you know, forcing you to update. You know, so wonderful. And you can always connect to your server just by typing in localhost or just the Hamachi IP. IP. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now you will see this little new thing called welcome and then your username. Kind of cool. And that is the Essentials plugin. And I can basically start type time day to have it set today. Okay, so if you don't get that, you do not have access to that command. Then you have to do this. Uh, disconnect from server. Uh, but you need to add yourself as admin in this ops.txt. It's very important. Because you want to be admin and everyone, everyone that you want to be admin, then you need to add them here. But be careful because then they have the same power as you do. Uh, so yeah, and then we just want to stop our server and then just open it up again and load up Minecraft again. Hit login. Not now. Hit updating. No, it's awesome. I'm going to update later. Hit connect. And now you are going to be admin. Uh, so you just type in time, day, and there you go, you, you have so much power, yeah. Uh, so that is basically how you install Essentials, and now you have basically all of these different kinds of plugins, so you can do a lot of things. And you can see that they have created a new folder here with some things, you don't have to, or don't touch this. Uh, but if you want to know all of the commands and stuff like that for all of these different plugins, uh, Sorry, my mouse, it just died. Sorry. Uh, guys, never buy a wireless mouse. That kind of sucks, you know? Okay, so if you want to know all of the commands and stuff like that for all of these different plugins, then just go to the link in the description, and here you will basically be able to download all of these, like if you want the latest one to try it out to see if it works. You also have a little command guide, and you have the recent changes, and here you can basically read what every single plugin is doing. So that's kind of amazing. You can see everything you can do. You can broadcast messages. You can kill people using the kill command. Uh, it, it's basically amazing. And you can also reload plugins, specific plugins, if you want to do that. Kind of nice because you don't have to restart your server. So, yeah, guys, that is basically how you install your first plugin. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.